Welcome to the Football Today betting preview for Euro 2024. I'm your host, Alex Donnelly. I cannot wait for the next, what is it, three to four weeks of football. Let's it go. is going to be chaos. I'm probably not going to sleep. This sucks because I love my sleep. But anyway, <laughs> stats guy over there, he lives like a vampire. He can't wait yep. for the 11 o'clock, 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Yep. kickoffs. <laughs> Me and Marcus will be up uh, watching yep. those ones. Uh, definitely very, very excited to put a few bets on and uh, watch a lot of these games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Marcus? Yeah, I'm just so excited for the Euros. Uh, and then it's great football. Tournament football rules. Yeah. Football never ends. Never ends. It's going to be <laughs> never great. Never ends. EPL season about EPL. 80 days away. We've got the Olympics coming up. Matilda's it's going to be great. Uh, but before we start, make sure you check out our podcast and YouTube videos that we did previewing the whole tournament. We had two videos where we broke down mm-hmm. every group and gave who we thought will win and basically anything else that came across our mind. I gave some kit ratings because they're a bunch of fun as well. Stats guy said that Florian Ritz was going to break out despite being a worldwide superstar. Nah, uh, Billy <laughs> Whatever. Goldman. Billy Good Goldman. job, Stats guy. Go Scotland. But anyway, we're here. We're going to give out four or five bets across the tournament with what, we've, what we're pretty keen on, basically, to have a bet on throughout the tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, all odds courtesy of our friends at Tab. But yep. anyway, Stats guy, you can start us off. What is your best bet for the tournament? Oh, best bet. I'm going to go Spain. Group B winner Ooh. is $1.80. I was group surprised. Group of death. It is the group of death. But as we mentioned, mm. you've got Croatia and Italy are the other two, uh, the next two favorites. You know, yep. I'm pretty sure. Is that right? Yep. yep. Uh, but I think Spain, you've got Croatia are very old, as we as we talked about in our previews. I think Spain just have a much better team. The only thing I'm worried about with Spain is that attack. But the rest of their team is so good. They've got really good depth coming off the bench. I think they're going to top that group. If I have to pick one of those teams, Italy coming to the tournament had some pretty shaky results, where, and Croatia are getting a lot older. Spain, a lot more guys in their prime. So Group B winner, $1.80 is my best bet, I reckon. Don't mind it. Oof. What else you can on throughout the tournament there? Uh, a bit biased towards Scotland, uh, being the homeland. But Germany and Scotland, Group A exacta. So the exactor of the uh, first, and, first second. and second, $4.50. So that's another really tough group. You've got Hungary uh, and, and, Switzerland. And, and Switzerland in that group as well, which are going to be pushing for second. But Germany, clearly going to be the best team. You've got Wurz, you've got Havertz, they're going to be scoring a lot of goals uh, for Germany. Then Scotland, I think their midfield, McGinn, McTominay, awesome form beating Spain and Norway in the build-up. Exacta $4.50, even though Scotland are favourites to finish bottom of the group. I Ooh. think they're going to go second. I like Ooh. it. Ooh. All right, give us something else there. You've got a top goal scorer yeah, for us. Yeah, top goal scorer. Give Romel- us a bit more value. A bit more value. This one Let's is go. more value, lads. <laughs> Romelu Lukaku to be the top goal scorer of the tournament at $17. I know he's a bit older. Might have put on a few kegs. But he is in the easiest group of this tournament, I think. The, the, the Bruyne is literally going to be putting it on a platter <gasps> for him. Going to be putting a platter on his head. You don't have to agree with me. This is my buy bet. $17. Somehow I think. Bruno Fernandes is going to get in the way. No, <laughs> I think uh, he's going to be yeah, taking penalties as well for that Belgium Bruno team. Fernandes oh, will take oh, the penalties. No, for Belgium. Belgium, who am I thinking of? <laughs> yeah, what, are you, what are you talking about? I'm You're losing Bruyne? my mind. Yeah, uh, De Bruyne yeah. might take yeah. it as well. Sorry, but, De Bruyne. But I think there's going to be just so many, so many chances <laughs> for him to score against this really poor group that he's going to top the group just because of that amazing group stage game. So he's my top one. And then talking about uh, Portugal, Alex talking That's about That's where I was That's getting That's where you were getting having a stroke Portugal's in here at some point. Uh, they're going to be my outright winner. That's probably my other best bet. Uh, $9, I think, is great value. Everyone's leaning towards France and England. Yep. I think Portugal's depth is just a little bit better. All right. Oof. Bit of a tap in for me to start off with Germany to top Group A on top. dollar forty to get the job done. I think it's Easy, pretty yeah. simple. They're going to win their group. I think that should be a dollar twenty, maybe even a dollar fifteen to win this group. They'll wrap mm-hmm. that three wins, get off the mark straight into the knockout stages. Easy as we like it. Uh, talking about Belgium, pretty keen on them to make a quarterfinal. So they only need Ooh. to get to the quarterfinals for this bet to get up. They're ranked three in the world. Their group is trash. So then they'll go they'll through easily the make round it out of sixteen. Group. Mm-hmm. Got to win that, and if they make the quarterfinals, you can get two dollars twenty about that. I, like I think that. they've got the squad depth. You said you mentioned with Lukaku as well, but you look at players like Trossard as well. There, mm-hmm. De Bruyne. It's going to be a great time to watch Belgium. They also have a great kit, so get around there, uh, <laughs> Tintin kit. Uh, so I reckon two dollars twenty about that for them to just qualify for a quarterfinal. Ooh, nice. You got a Quinella as well. I got a Quinella. France and Germany a Quinella, which means basically I think the final is going to be France and Germany. As said in the previous show, I'm pretty keen on France to win this tournament, but I think the Germans. Home crowd behind them all the way through. I think their squad is actually pretty good. I know their world ranking hasn't been great in previous years uh, due to some horrendous performances at the most recent World Cup. But I think they can get the job done here, which will then roll into another bet I've got, which is Florian Ritz to have the most assists in the tournament at $21. He's a world-class player who won't have a breakout in this tournament because he's already 
awesome. <laughs> I reckon he, a couple of through balls, playing from some set pieces as well. Rich just putting it on the top of Kai Havertz's head in the ball. <coughs> Off we yeah. go. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Definitely his words, not Ritz. <laughs> yeah, words, Ritz. Yeah. It's anyway. What's that? $21. It's not the uh, South percent. Australian meat. Yeah, like? yeah, yeah. The Ritz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ritz. Ritz crackers. Give me that. Uh, yeah, but $21 about him to yep. get most of CSC. He's an absolute okay. ball. I love watching him play. He yeah, he's so excited. He's yeah. in the Bundesliga. And then the best one. My favorite one of this all. <laughs> England to lose in the semi-finals at five dollars. Oh, they love doing yeah. that. <sighs> They'll lose to France in the semi-finals. That's the way Ooh. it looks like for them. So yeah, that's how they make the semi-finals. They lose to France. Off we go. So if they make the semi-finals, run at the five dollars. You just have something on England to, to qualify for the final. Off we go. I don't mind that. But yeah. It's England in a semi-final. They'll nice. lose. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You got yeah. something as well, Marcus? Yeah, talking about losers, uh, Georgia and Group F, oh. they will finish bottom of the group oh, at, poor at $1.40. Look, That's their first bad. time being in the tournament. Uh, they got the Czech Republic, who normally do well in the Euros, and Turkey, who are always sort of Pretty dark horses. Experienced side Turkey. Uh, so yeah. I expect Georgia to finish bottom of that group. Germany to make the semi final, $2.10. Look, That's pretty good. Home nation. They'll probably play off against Portugal if everything goes yeah. uh, the way it's supposed yeah. to. Don't have or to we will. I expect it to. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, just that one little step behind from where Alex was to make the final. $2.10 for the semi final. Um, home crowd on their back. Yep. Highest scoring team. It's a bit of a fun one. I, I had a look at this throughout. I was just like, oh. No, I like just also one. because it's also like, it could be a team that scores 12 goals in the group stages. Loses the round of sixteen, and you could get up. It's, it's that's very why hard. I like that, which is why I've gone Portugal because okay. I think they could go very deep in this tournament. Yep. Yep. Um, again, they're in the same group with Turkey, Czech Republic, and Georgia. So Dominate. goals on offer. Mm -hmm. They got wingers off the bench who can score for days. The tricky players, I reckon they can score I a bunch have, of goals. That's seven bucks. I might have a look at Belgium. Belgium or Portugal are my two, but I don't mind Portugal. Yeah, yeah. Time, I'm going to go look that up. Yeah, and yeah. then lastly, this is a lot of value. So wow, here we go. It's a bit of an out there one. I'm going to go Phil Foden. Top goal scorer, tournament top goal scorer, $34. You're gonna, you know, in the AFL show, we talk about getting bevoed. You're going to get Southgated. Well, if he doesn't start him, <laughs> yes. surely he if starts he him. Start him. If he should be starting him every He's just seeming to score big goals. You Phil just Foden. got Southgated. Big times. <laughs> yep. Champions League for City, Premier League as well yep. on the final day. Mm -hmm. He's just like in a rich vein of form. And if he can continue that in the Euros under Southgate, hopefully. There's a lot of value there. 34 yeah, bucks. Yeah, 34 bucks. I don't mind that. Yeah. Belgium and $9 to be top scoring team in the tournament, by the way. I might have a shekel or two on that. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I think it'll be out of Belgium and Portugal, like, like uh, Mark has mentioned. Yeah, cool. All right, overall winners, just quickly before we finish off here, I think France are going to get the job done. They're currently second favourites at $4, which blows my mind. Very keen to back the French to win at Euro 2024. Ooh, I agree. I agree. I'm going with the French. Yeah. Uh, I already said Portugal. Nine bucks. I think that's really good value when England are only like $3. 75. That is way too low when there's a lot of tournament football to be played. So Portugal, $9. I think that will drop mm. after the group stage when they dominate in the group stage. There's a certain betting exchange there that exists where you can back against a team to win. You may want to look at that Ooh. to bet against England. Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, that is us done and dusted here for the Euro 2024 betting preview. Check out all of our shows, Football Today, Cricket Today, NBA Australia, Hold All Tickets, and of course, AFL Today. They're across all of our social platforms. Don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok and X, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all that good stuff. Please give us a five-star rating, leave us a review, all that good stuff. Cheers, Marcus. Thank you, Alex. Good stuff, Stats Man. Thank you. Good stuff to the team behind the camera as always. We'll catch you later on Football Today. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.